Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I am finally going to give you guys what you have been asking for, my updated brow routine. Now I have a, like one or two routines already on my channel, but things have changed ever since I went platinum. I felt like I needed to soften things up. And then when I started to soften things up, I really kind of fell in love with my routine. <laughs> Before I zoom you guys in for the actual tutorial, I'm gonna tell you guys what I use and then some grooming tips. So I'm gonna start with the grooming tips and for me, it's basically do not over pluck and do not cut them too much. This is about as long as I like them to get. In about a week, I will probably trim them a little. So what I do is I take a spoolie, push them up and I will trim them a little bit. You don't wanna go too far because then you will lose this like wispy effect at the top. But then if you're like me and your brow hairs grow really long <laughs> they will be too wispy and kind of fall so this is like the perfect length for me and something that might help you out it used to help me I don't really have to do it anymore but if you go ahead and draw in your brows the exact shape that you want them and then pluck on the outside that will help you keep the shape because I know a lot of the times if I didn't do that I would pluck a hair that I thought I didn't need but then in reality when I would go to do my brows I needed that hair and then I had to restart the whole process of it growing back I personally do not get my brows done by anyone. I don't let anybody touch them because I had a traumatic experience and I don't want to talk about it, but we don't let anybody touch these brows. So I do have to pluck quite often. I usually will do it almost every night. Anything that's left behind, because sometimes you can't get a hair that's like barely at the surface, you can't get a hold of it. The concealer I use to clean up underneath the brow will also cover up anything that's not super clean. Now as far as products go, I generally stick to pencils. Every once in a while I'll get a little fancy and I will pull out a pomade. But generally speaking, I don't like to do that because I feel like it's too time consuming. And I like to do my brows, but I don't like to spend that much time on them. Them, so I think the pencil is the easiest route. The two that I suggest are either the Anastasia Brow Wiz or the Dior Universal, I believe I'm Universal Brown. I will insert a picture of it here. I just ran out of that one. But those two are my favorite. I like the Dior one because I cannot get that color in the Anastasia. It's just a little bit off. And then the Brow Wiz, the color that I use the most is soft brown. That's what I'm using in this tutorial. Sometimes I will go in with Ebony. Ebony matches my actual brow hairs the most, but I only use that when I want my brows to be slightly more bold. I use the same technique, but because the pencil shade is almost black, it gives it just a little bit more drama. This is the only brow set that I ever use. I have tried several other ones, but this one is the bomb.com. This is the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. It used to be called Benefit Ready Set Brow, and I don't know why they changed the name. I don't think they changed the formula because it feels exactly the same. But this is my ride or die. It is like glue. It's the only thing that really gives me this kind of effect at the top. I have other brow gels that will work, like they will hold my brows, but just not, it doesn't look the same to me. And the reason why is because of this most brush style. It has a shorter end and a longer end and it has like little combs. I use the longer end all the time. I'm going to be using Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Neutral to clean up underneath as well as prime my eyes. And then the brushes I'm going to use are the MAC 242. I like it because of its size and it's synthetic. And I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown Full Coverage Touch Up to blend out the concealer on my lid. And then pretty much any fluffy brush will work to set your eye. And this is the 774 Large Shader from Delium. And I'm also going to be using MAC Blanc Type Shadow. It's this shade right here, I got a fresh one. Any bone color shadow will work. You want it to be matte, but depending on your skin tone, whatever works best for you, MAC Blanc Type is just my absolute favorite. All right, let's go ahead and scoot you guys in and get this started. The first thing I'm gonna do is take my brow gel and I'm going to push all my hairs up on both sides. And then I will go this way through them. And then I will also push them down. The reason why I'm going in all these different directions is because I wanna make sure that the brow gel is worked completely through the hairs. Real cute, right? <laughs> I'm gonna wait about 20, 15, 20 seconds just so that it kind of 
dries slightly but not too much and then I will start to push them upwards. That will help hold my brows because my brow hairs are very long. If this formula is too wet, it'll just fall back down again. When I'm about halfway through this brow gel, it's when it's its best consistency. I've got my brow hairs where I want them, so now I'm just gonna wait about a minute, maybe two, and just wait for this to completely dry. If you go in too soon, the hairs are still wet, it makes the pencil act weird or your pomade, and it can move the hair. So I wanna make sure this is completely set. Now I'm gonna go in with my pencil. I'm a little bit more sparse here, so I'm gonna fill in just slightly. I basically only do this at the bottom. I don't really fill in anywhere at the top unless one of the hairs dried weird and there's a weird gap. But generally speaking, I fill in the bottom part and I'll make short little strokes for just a small line. flicking upwards so it's more hair-like. I don't want to fill in all the way up here, so I kind of go up halfway. Through the tail, I'm gonna go ahead and line out how I want it to go, and then I fill in slightly more at the tail, and I will fill in right up top and down. Take my, pence, my <laughs> spoolie and kind of spoolie that out. I went ahead and finished the other brow. Now I'm just perfecting this one. I try to make them match up the best possible, but my brow hairs are, I mean, my brows are not twins. If you feel like anything's too harsh, you can go in with a spoolie and soften it, but I tend to use my eyeshadow and kind of slightly go over the line to blend it out. MAC 242 and Tarte Shape Tape, and I'm going to clean up. So if you have any extra little hairs that need to be plucked, this will usually cover it. After you get the line, always blend down so you don't have anything too harsh. I used to do this with Soft Ochre Paint Pot, but I find that the Tarte Shape Tape glides a little easier, but the paint pot will work. I use a stiffer brush if I had to use the uh, paint, paint pot, sorry. After I've cleaned up both brows, I'm going to use the shape tape to prime my eyes. And this is a Bobbi Brown full coverage touch up. I'm just blending this out. I'm going to set the lid using Blanc Tight for MAC, and this is just a Delium shade, or I think it's 774. I do the lid first so that it doesn't crease, and then work my way up to the brow, but don't hit the brow. I'm gonna go back in with a 242 to blend that out. I cleaned any excess of the Tarte Shape Tape off my brush, and I am just taking that Blanc Type, and I am feathering out like the edge, so I don't want it to be a dark harsh line, the shadow will help to kind of diffuse it a little bit. Especially on this side because I feel like I always get a harsher line here. And then there you go, that's my brows completed. All right, you guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was helpful for you guys. Let me know if you have any questions down below and I will try my best to get back to you. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video.